this is Moshe Zussman, and I have a little video for you guys to supplement for the article I wrote about backing up and archiving your images. In this article, I want to show you how I download images, how I organize them, how it's easy for me to find images at any given time without thinking, when did I shoot this person? Um, for example, uh, today I just got back from photographing the Miss Maryland USA competition, and I already put those images from the memory cards right into my computer. They're in Lightroom. My Lightroom catalog, uh, the structure is here on the left, and it correlates with how my hard drive is organized. So this is my year 2016. This is what November looks like. You can see the same amount of folders between here and there. I'm going to take you a step back and show you how I import into Lightroom to keep that organized. And that's very easy. Um, I'm going to connect, uh, uh, turn Lightroom into importing a memory card. Here's a memory card for something I shot earlier this week. Uh, I specifically picked just five images to show you how quick this is. Later, you can obviously do it with any kind of photo shoot you have. Um, five images are set to copy from the memory card. I point to November, and my Lightroom it already knows to just create a folder with the, with the year, month, and date. Um, I also, just as a side note, um, add headshots, uh, keywords, and copyright information to the images import and the lens profile in the developer settings, which just corrects perspective distortion and so on. Uh, once I hit import, Lightroom will copy those five images. As you can see here under November, it created a folder with the uh, year, month, and day. And as soon as it's done, all I do is right click and call it Bay Photo. And there you go. At any given time now, a year from now or, or later, someone's going to call me and say, do you remember that group photo you took in front of Bay Photo? I won't remember the date, but all I have to do is search for Bay Photo in my catalog, and I will find it. Um, so that's how it's organized in Lightroom. This is what my external hard drives look like. I directly copy every images I shoot to uh, those external Western digitals. There is a four terabyte for 2016, another external for 2015. These are the two years that I access most. Each one is structured by month. And that's the best way for me to keep my images organized. Um, as far as backing it up, you can see that there is a backup for 2016. And I use this great software called Carbon Copy Cloner that is has uh, presets, scheduled backups, to copy and archive my images. So for example, this one is the one that takes, uh, takes action every night at 11 p.m. It will copy 2016 from this drive to 2016 back up. And that means that if this drive fried or one of the drives in it got uh, fried, I have a daily backup on a secondary drive right here ready to work. But that's not enough. I also have a 2016 daily backup to another network drive. I have a safe deposit uh, in a room here, and inside it there is a Mac Mini that has another 4 terabyte drive connected to it. There is another copy there every night, but this happens at 4 a.m. So everything I photograph by tomorrow will be on two additional drives. In addition to that, there is a new device that I just got, it's the Western Digital PR4100. It is a 32 terabyte RAID 5 uh, uh, net network attached storage that copies, again, 2016 daily to it. It is also not right now making a backup of 2015, but as you can see, that is a very long backup. So there's a lot of backups that are happening here in the background while I'm not working on my computer, but that makes sure that everything is safe and there is multiple re redundancies and a lot of extra copies for all my images. In addition to the one, two copies on my local computer and the two network copies I have, I also have another backup. And that one looks like that. It is called Backblaze. And it's a little agent that is running in the background as a process on my computer. It is a $5 a month service that I found to be very useful. The two times I had to use it, I, I accessed my files really quickly. Um, what it does is, you decide which drives are going to be backed up, your system drive or your Drobos or your Western Digitals, and you basically back them up to the cloud. That means that if this computer got fried and somehow there was a flood and all my external drives and, and the local clouds got destroyed in an earthquake, 
At the very least, somewhere in Arizona in the desert, there's a server firm that hosts all my images. So I have a lot of backups to make sure that my client's files are safe. That's how I've been working for many, many years. I always make sure that because we shoot digital, we have the luxury of being able to copy our images to multiple uh, uh, copies. Back in the days, it used to be CDs and DVDs, but we all found out that those get destroyed, get ruined, and become unreadable after a few years. Plus, storage has become so cheap and, and files are so big, the DVDs are just not enough. So I use Backblaze for the cloud. I use network servers from Western Digital network attached uh, uh, storages for off computer backup and Western Digital drives for computer backup. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, um, hit me up on Facebook. I'm happy to answer anything that, um, that you may have questions about. Take care.